So welcome back. In this lecture, we're going to begin looking at one of the basic building blocks of organizing our code and creating a function, a custom function. And so we're going to create a custom function for our little uh, information display down here. And the purpose of this is that we're going to make uh, this into like a next day routine. So e every time it's like the next day, uh, we can display this information. So the first thing I'll do is I'll just cut it from here because I want to I want to put it up at the top. So um, I want to define my variables here, and I, then I'm going to define my function up here. Def display store info, and the def is for define, uh, you know, a function, and so this is just any name we want to give it, and I've called it display store info again you might uh, you know when you name these things don't use odd weird crazy characters you can use underscores underscores are real common um, you know a through Z uh, upper lowercase it is always case sensitive so if you name something store profit like that and you go store profit these two are not going to be the same so make sure your case is the same Make sure you don't put weird characters in there. Now, in this, we just need to paste our three commands. And so this is going to, when we call this function, and it's going to then run these print commands. So they're not going to do anything now. If I run this, these will not, will not run because they're inside this method in order to call this. And I said method. Um, it's a, I would call it a method once it's inside of a class, which we'll cover later. But right now, I would call this a function, just because it's running within our base uh, main uh, Python program here. So to call our uh, display store info, we just need to use this syntax. We just say display store info and just an open close parenthesis so when the code is running and it gets here and it sees this it's going to then run the code inside of here and you just have to get used to the syntax it starts with a def and then you always, you have an open and close parenthesis here and a colon in python it's important that you indent four spaces and a, a good editor will do that for you you just hit tab if you don't do that you'll get an error Let's run our code and make sure it works. And you'll see that now we get the information display. But what's even better is we can copy this and we can put it here after we increment the day. And we can put it here after we buy our store. And we don't need our print statements here anymore for money or day because that's all inside of our display store info. And we can put another one here and you get the idea we can call it multiple times and it's all calling this same block of code so when I run it you'll see that we have day two day three let's put another day plus in there so that it doesn't look too strange so we increment the day again like that day three day four and then we got we still have another day we're showing that we didn't increment but you get the idea that you can play with this and uh, see how you can you know make your own little uh, test game where you're adding days adding stores to buy you know buy things taking away money add money um, so that gives you the basics of doing a function. In our next lecture, we're going to expand on this and take it through uh, some of our other uh, uh, ideas here, other methods, like when we buy a store, we can create a function to do that. And when we uh, increment the day, we can create a function to do that. And I'll show you how we can do that and at the same time update these variables.